Hey, my name is Juan Enteria. Uh, I'm a fourth year student at Caltech and I'm studying mechanical engineering. So I was born with a condition called Clipotronality syndrome. My doctors had told my parents and I that I would never be able to walk. A medical complication occurred and I actually ended up falling in a coma. And my parents made a very hard decision of unplugging me. Through some miracle, I was able to breathe and I'm now able to walk, run, swim. I'm able to live life like everybody else, just with limitations. And it's, so, it's, it's wonderful, it's wonderful to be here. The reason that I was alive you know, as a child was just because of the doctors that had helped me. And I wanted to do the same for people that had similar conditions or just were going through similar things. You know, a big thought of my mind was, I am capable of doing so many things and getting to Caltech proved that. So I was like, I'm ready, I need to go, I want to go. But to my parents, it was a really, really scary thing. My parents took a leap of faith and trusted me and they said that, you know, you are capable of going to the school. It is a very special thing. We don't want to stop that. I accepted and when I came in, I, I wanted to study mechanical engineering. My goal was to work on prosthetics. And so the way that I decided to approach that was through robotics. That led me to taking ME72 to build a blimp and to play Quidditch or soccer with those blimps. To be able to learn concepts and how to work on them by myself, but also how to work with other people, that was a really cool experience. SURF is a summer research program. You get to uh, work at a Caltech lab and do research for 10 weeks. I couldn't have done that if the opportunity only presented itself during the school year, because I can't balance classes, my health, clubs, and research, that's too much for me. So being able to have that summer to dedicate myself to research and have this kind of smaller community within that lab has been a really, really special thing. And I was also president of Caltech's Hispanic and Latino Association. We try to organize not just cultural events, but also to improve Caltech experience for Hispanic students. To know that you know there's a community here for you guys and Caltech supports that community. Most recently, I've been to the hospital 10 times this past year. Usually it's about a week and then I come back. But when I come back, it's not like I'm back in action. It's taking more medicine for the next couple of weeks. So during that time, I can't do laundry. I can't get food for myself. These kind of like really basic needs I can't do for myself. Thankfully, the deans and professors at Ohio have also been very accommodating when it comes to extensions. I'm, I'm thankful that they understand my situation and that they see that I'm working hard and that they give me the space and the time to finish those things, even if it's a month or a couple of months late. It is most people's first times working with somebody like me who has my kind of condition. I have to tell them, hey, you know, I do know myself and I have these needs and I need them to get done because I matter. And if I don't have to care myself, you know, who will? If universities continue to have students with a physical disability, I hope that they are able to take advantage of that student's experience and show them that they are putting all their resources as much as possible to helping that community because they deserve to feel like they belong as well. Through my journey at Caltech, I found a love for engineering and I'm gonna go into a PhD program at Northwestern. I'll be having my PhD in biomedical engineering and I'll be having a doctor of physical therapy. Either way, I'll be, I'll be Dr. Enteria, which feels very nice. I'm so proud of the fact that I not just came to Caltech, but, you know, excelled here. With every step that I've taken, there's been uncertainty, there's been barriers broken, which is a beautiful thing, but it's, that's been really scary as well. But because I believed in myself, because people around me believed in me, that creates no limits in the world for me.